Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This time we'll be covering how to make a tail. I had a vote on Amino and although the most popular item for my next tutorial was a digigrade bodysuit, I've only made one so I don't think I'm quite qualified to teach everyone just yet. So let's just go with the second most popular item which was the tail. Before we start, I'd like to thank everyone for the support on my first head tutorial and time lapse. The response was rather overwhelming, so it's clear you guys want some more. I'm telling you guys, tails are easy. Any monkey with a sewing machine can poop out a tail, and they're a great starting point if you want to get into fursuit making. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to take some paper and sketch out the design of the tail. I will be making a black and white red panda tail for a friend of mine and he's requested that the tail be 120 centimeters long. So I'll just use a measuring tape to measure that out and draw the shape of the tail based on that. You're basically drawing a side view of the tail. Make it slightly fatter than you want the finished product to be as it will thin a bit when you stuff it. He asked for 5 stripes, so I divided 120 by 5, which comes to 24 centimeters, so we can have lovely equal sections. Sorry for the footage for this part being so far away, I'm still learning how to use this GoPro properly. Now just cut all of it out and separate the pieces. I like to number all my pieces and then draw an arrow for which way the fur should be going, so everything is cohesive. Next, grab out your fur and start tracing two copies of each piece, one on each side of the paper, onto the fur. Label them with their number and either A or B for which side of the paper they were traced from, then cut it out, leaving about a centimetre of seam allowance to make sewing it a lot easier. Whilst this happens, let me talk about a few things. So I'll be making a Q&A video from the various questions I got on my head tutorial video in fursuit, so hopefully that's not too cringy and hopefully people stop asking me the same questions because apparently an FAQ wasn't enough. Come on guys. And be sure to comment down below what tutorial you'd like to see from me next. I'd love to do a hand pour, feed pour, digi bodysuit, flandy bodysuit, fursuit bandana, fursuit cleaning videos, and a fursuit spot cleaning videos. I'm tracing this in fabric chalk. Don't use pen or even sharpies when tracing white or light colored fur, because when you wash it, it will leak into your fur. When cutting, be sure to run the blades of your scissors under all the fur fibers. You should be able to feel when you're cutting it right and you don't want to cut off any of the fur fibers. Be sure to double check your fur direction. I actually cut a piece the wrong way, so I had to redo it. If you want to make sure all the fur is going the same way. Next, you want to grab some pins and all your fur and start pinning it together like it was when you drew it out. You want to tuck the fur fibers in like I'm showing you now before you pin it. You want to pin it with the two fur sides together. Pin all of the A pieces together then all of the B pieces, so you have two separate halves for your tail, half A and half B. You can pin the entire pattern or work piece by piece, it doesn't matter. Be sure to double check all your fur directions to make sure everything's aligned. Then sew a simple straight stitch along the seams. Some sewing machines might take a bit of pulling on the fabric to take the fur, but be persistent. Be sure to back stitch at the start and end of each sewing line to avoid seam spraying. I was actually stupid here and accidentally sewed the piece to the wrong end of the tail, so be sure to double check where you're putting things. I didn't have an unpicker, so I just carefully used scissors to cut the seam. Thank you. 
All right, once you've made both halves, place both first sides together and pin all around the edges, leaving the top open. Then sew all around what you've pinned. Once that's done, turn the tail inside out by reaching into the tail, grabbing the end and pulling it out the hole. Give it a good brush out to get rid of any fur caught in the seams and grab your stuffing. Then start stuffing your tail with some polyfill. Not too much to say about this, so enjoy half a minute of me sitting like a dude stuffing a tail. I gave everything a good brush out again before I started to sew up the hole. You can do this however you like, but I prefer to pull everything towards the centre like a dumpling. Next I prepare the belt loops by cutting some thick elastic and folding over and sewing about a centimetre on each side for durability. I'm making two for this tail because it's very big. Any kind of thick elastic would do or you can use other thick materials if you like. Then using some Heavy duty upholstery thread, I then hand sew both ends of each of the belt loops to the tail. I usually use far more stitches and matching thread, but it was late and I wanted to get this tutorial filmed and ready for editing the next day. Please excuse the mess. Things tend to get very messy when first it making. Not much can be done besides constant vacuuming to avoid that. I'm using a blanket stitch for this, but you can use whatever you like as long as it's durable. Once you're done, tie it off and brush it out. And there you have it. That was easy. A lovely tail to wear wherever you like. And if you're making it for non-fursuit use, you may want to make it a bit thinner. The volume of fur on a fursuit will, make, will bulk it out and make this tail look a little bit less comically huge. The owner of this tail is a little shorter than me, so it will be a bit more floor dragging on the owner. So that's about it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, leave any questions down in the comments and subscribe for more tutorials and fursuit outings. Thanks everyone.